Hello team and welcome to today's video, where we're going to be taking a look at how to highlight and track changes made in Excel workbooks as requested from a comment. Here on my basic candy store spreadsheet, I want to make it so that if I change a number, for an example, I'll change the quantity of gummies of 200 to 205. Excel highlights that cell for me, letting me know a change has been made. We can set this up easily without any VBA or complex formulas, so let's jump in. In order to set this up, I have two tabs on my Excel spreadsheet. The tab I'm currently on is where I want to track any changes that are made. And on the original data tab I have here at the bottom, this is the tab I'm going to use to compare to the shared tab that everyone has access to in order to track any changes. Heading back to the shared tab, in order to set this up, you can highlight all of your data or press Ctrl A on the keyboard to do the same. Head to conditional formatting and select new rule. We're going to select the bottom option to enter a formula. In the formula bar, we're first going to click our top left cell or A3 and remove the absolute reference by selecting F4 three times. Enter another equal sign, head to the original data tab, which is where we're comparing to, and select the same cell, A3, and remove that absolute reference. Then enter equals false into the formula bar. Now we'll select our formatting. Click the format option. I want the font to appear as red, so I'll select that. And then for the cell fill color tab, I'll select the yellow highlight and click OK and OK again. Now let's test out our results. Imagine that someone came into the worksheet and changed the candy type for candy shack from gummies to taffy. When I select out of that cell, you'll notice the change has been highlighted. In row eight, if I change the quantity from 78 to 90 and again click out of that cell, again, I can see that change was made. If you want to track the changes made without your viewer seeing the original data, you can right click the original data tab and select hide. And now only the shared view is visible. Then finally, if you want to update the original tab based on approved changes, you can right click your tab, select unhide. With original data selected, you can click OK. On the shared view, you can highlight all of your data or select Control A, use Control C to copy and paste that in the original data tab. Now when you go back to the shared view, you'll notice nothing is highlighted because we've updated our original data. Keep in mind you have the ability to password protect your original data tab as well to ensure no unapproved changes are made. And I'll link a video for how to do that in the description. Team, I hope you enjoyed these tips today. Please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos.